been talking about them. What was my topic? ICOs. The conference was moved to Hong Kong one week before we were supposed to be in Beijing. To everyone's credit, every single speaker assigned to speak in Beijing showed up in Hong Kong. And 80% of the attendees showed up in Hong Kong. When I took the stage, I abandoned my prepared speech and said, please see who we are. We are refugees. We were, and we still are. So China bans ICOs. Nothing changes. They shut down every exchange in China. Did anything change? Why the Bitcoin went up? In America, the Securities and Exchange Commission has issued 400 subpoenas. I'm one of these. They haven't served me yet. Why? I'm pretty hard to serve. <coughs> 400. 400. And an SEC subpoena is nothing to wag your finger at. I'd be rather served by the FBI for child trafficking or something because the SEC can shut you down, not just economically, put you in prison, and ban you from doing business forever in America. So these are serious issues that we're dealing with. And every government on the earth is looking at ways to shut us down. Why is that? It's because we represent the greatest threat to every world government that has ever emerged. And that threat is governments run on money. Where do they get the money? From you and I, the people. And how do they do that? Through a thing called taxation. How much money did you make last year? We're going to take 20% of that. Thank you very much. On down the line. And with that money, they fund their, their junkets, their trips to Spain, their yachts, whatever. How do you collect taxes when we're in a world, and I'm using Monero or a privacy coin, that nobody can trace the origin or the recipient of any transaction? It's impossible. So what happens to the income tax? We then rely on us. We're honest people. Now, the government doesn't have a clue how much money you've made, but you're going to go through and write down every penny and give it to them. Do you honestly believe that that will happen? And do you think our governments honestly believe that that will happen? It is human nature. If we know we cannot be punished by not reporting our full income, or even any income, we will cheat. I'm sorry. You may look at yourself and say, no, no, not me. I'll, I'll put the full amount. But after you spent half of that money already, and you're looking at what's left, I've got to give that to the government, or I'm going to buy another car. What will you choose? <laughs> your, car, your garage is going to be full of cars. So the governments know that cryptocurrencies, if they succeed and have widespread or universal acceptance, <laughs> their funding is gone. Who's going to pay the congressman? Air Force One fuel for that massive uh, traveling hotel that the president flies in. It'll be gone. Now, do you think world governments are just going to sit idly by and go, well, let's just see what happens? You know, we have this great meeting. Yeah, it's going to end us all. Well, don't worry about it. We'll see what happens. No. They have a war room now planning on what do we do to shut it down. But they can't. Technologically, it is impossible. When China shut down the exchanges, that's when all the exchanges were centralized. Now, how easy is that? I can go to just pull the plug on the electricity, exchange over, or raid the offices, bomb the building, whatever. Piece of cake. But exchanges are coming out now using a thing called atomic swap that require no central server. And they work. So that if you have a wallet with an ato atomic swap capability, you are the exchange. Or you are, if there are one million wallets, you are one millionth of that exchange. 
And the combination of all of the wallets make the full exchange. And you're in every...